Yeah, you always think you want curly hair until you actually have it. And then it looks like this when you wake up. As I usually say, welcome back to my nightmare. <laughs> this week I'm doing something just a little bit different because you've been watching my videos for a little while now. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure that you have no idea who I am. You're just like, this person's hands are on video an awful lot. And they narrate what they're doing, but they don't actually like tell us anything. So I'm having a bit of a self-care day. I just finished a show and I had a really, really busy week at work. So I'm tired and I'm kind of just like determined to stay in bed today. Um, so I thought it'd be fun to like kind of get to get to know me a little. Let me tell you some stuff. Messy bed, messy hair, no makeup, low key, but also my mom bought me weird candy. <laughs> so I thought maybe I could try some of this while you're watching. Um, this is the problem is I fall asleep a lot to Mythical Kitchen and Good Mythical Morning. Like I use that as my current like fall asleep routine. And I think it's just made me want to try weird candy. <laughs> like it's like planted the brain and like the thought in my brain. Oh my God, I'm dying. That, you know, I just might need to like try some stuff. And actually, I don't know. My mom and I like to try weird things. Earlier in the year, I went to a store called Mr. Ed's and I bought pickle flavored candy for my friend, uh, Carla, and she thought they were actually pretty good. And I thought that pickle flavored cotton candy sounded hideous, but you know, cotton candy peeps, come on, we have to try. <laughs> so anyway, I thought that it would be cool to take a couple flavors that my mom has got me and give them a try while also just giving you some basic information on me. <laughs> Because isn't that what YouTube is? An excuse to be extremely narcissistic. It's not a problem if you know you have it. <laughs> so first up, I'm trying all oh, these sound they sound so bad. <laughs> she bought me like four flavors and they all sound so bad. Um trying chocolate pudding flavored peeps. Now I have a theory about peeps. Here's your first fun fact about me. I have a theory about the shape of the peeps determining if they're good or not. And I personally prefer chicken flavored peeps because you have this like little dry marshmallow tail at the end, which is literally the best part of the peep. Bunnies, they're too flat all over. There's, there's just too consistent a flavor like a marshmallow to sugar ratio. And uh, if you're not, if you're not from this country or you've never had peeps or I don't know, do they sell peeps worldwide? I don't know. They just, they have the sugar that they put on, on this marshmallow peep has this weird bitterness to it. And I'm just very concerned. I'm very concerned about this whole thing. Let's try them. Oh gosh. Can I not like, I don't think I can get them open. Oh no. Okay. Well, um, well, first off you do get you, that. That smells exactly like a pudding cup, like a chocolate pudding cup. Like you get the, you open it and you get that like, Oh, milky pudding smell. You for being, for being kind of chunky. I actually have very strong opinions about snack foods. Like I'm not a, I'm not a pudding cup person. Um, I'm a chocolate person, but it's got to be like, okay, chocolate. Like, I don't know. I just, I have, I have feelings. <laughs> All right. These are very fresh. In my opinion, peeps are better stale, uh, when they're kind of slightly hard and, um, you, I'm like putting off, putting this in my mouth, honestly. <laughs> I'm like, oh no, this is, this is going to be bad. Um, it's, so it's very squishy. The actual marshmallow, you can't see it. The actual marshmallow is actually chocolatey. Hold on. There you go. Chocolatey. <laughs> um, so you can see that it actually is chocolate. Usually the marshmallow is white. Oh, this is good. I don't, oh man, I'm regretting my life choices that have led me to this moment. All right. Okay. This one's not so bad. <laughs> this one, um, 
doesn't taste like pudding. So that's kind of nice, actually. It just tastes like chocolate marshmallow. Uh, it still has that bitterness. The sugar that is coated on the peep has like a weird bitter flavor. Um, so honestly, it just, it just tastes like a marshmallow peep with a slight chocolate flavor. It doesn't taste like pudding though. Like it has the smell. Like when I opened the bag, the smell like was, was there, but it doesn't have uh, that like distinct pudding flavor, so, which I liked because I thought I don't like pudding cups. I think they taste weird. So I think the next one we're going to do is the cotton candy peeps. And I guess, uh, the next thing that I could tell you since we're opening up fun colored peeps is that I actually am a licensed cosmetologist. Um, most people just assume that I, uh, post crap on the internet as my living, like my job that I do, but I do actually have a hair license. I don't know that I want to do that for the rest of my life. I'm still working that out. Like I started, I just started in a salon that I like. They're really cool, but, um, I don't know that this is the job that I want to do. All right. So cotton candy peeps, no super strong flavor. When I open the bag, like, like the, the pudding smell of the pudding peeps hit me in the face. This one doesn't really do anything. Um, Fun peep color though. It's pink. So the marshmallow is supposedly flavored, I guess. It smells like cotton candy. This one's probably not gonna be so bad because cotton candy is just sugar and peeps are already sugar, sugar coated in sugar. So <laughs> I think this is probably gonna be fine. And already it's a better shape because it's the chicken. So it's the chicken shaped friend instead of the bunny shaped friend. Oh man, I almost want to take another bite just to make sure, but I don't want to take another bite. Okay. All right. Does not taste like cotton candy much. I mean, there's like, a, there's like a hint of cotton candy flavor hint, but not, not a lot. It's definitely a fun color. Uh, I, I don't know. Like, there's something about it I just don't like. Like, I don't try. it's like when you swallow, you get hit with that kind of pseudo cotton candy flavor. But it seems to me somehow more bitter than a usual peep. Mm. Yeah, it didn't have, like, it didn't have a, like, a very strong cotton candy flavor. It was like a, a hint but somehow was still worse than a regular peep. Um, so next one we have sour watermelon peeps. And no, I'm probably not going to know how to flip the video so that you can actually read the word sour watermelon. Um, <laughs> cause I'm, I'm not a video maker. I just do this for fun y'all. So anyway, <laughs> sour watermelon peeps. Uh, do I have any more fun facts? I love to do theater. I talk about doing theater a lot. I just, uh, I was just in a show that is currently being streamed virtual. So that's kind of fun. Um, uh, I really enjoy acting, uh, more than I enjoy some of the other things, but I have done props and enjoyed it. I've done costuming and I really enjoy that, which may talk about my next fun fact. Um, so yeah, I mean, I have done a lot of theater in my time. I do prefer to be actually on stage and performing, but it would be cool, I think, to learn how to be a director. Like, that would be awesome. Um, I don't think I would be great at it, but I would try. Okay. So these are... <laughs> these are actually... You smell a sour watermelon Jolly Rancher when you open this, essentially. It smells like a Jolly Rancher. And it's a very sour watermelon-y smell. Uh, like a watermelon, fake watermelon candy, <laughs> but it also kind of smells like cucumbers. I hate cucumbers, but for some reason I love watermelon <laughs> and, um, it doesn't smell hideous. Like it doesn't smell like I'm going to regret this as much as I thought this was going to be one of the nastiest ones. 
and I'm starting to have semi high hopes for it because it's actually it might not be that bad so let's try it out please be green marshmallow oh no <laughs> no oh no I feel like I just murdered him so the watermelon watermelon marshmallow peep is pink inside so when you pull this little buddy out he looks like you've killed him i'm so sorry friend <laughs> i hate that i hate that i hate when people say friend because my teacher friends say that to refer to their students and i hate it because i'm like i'm not automatically your friend <laughs> like you gotta earn it it's, i guess for the purpose of tiny little things i've decided to steal that from my teacher friends oh oh man That had the most flavor, if that makes you feel any better. I wouldn't even call it necessarily, necessarily, okay, there it is, necessarily sour, but I found it. I found the sour. Um, it definitely has that taste of like a, a jo oh, water. I don't like Jolly Ranchers. I like lemon flavored Jolly Ranchers. That's the only flavor I like. I don't like watermelon at all, but oh god, oh god, why? The second bite's not as bad. To me, it does taste more like a cucumber than a watermelon. Uh, I don't enjoy that. That was okay. All right then. That was bad. Ooh, the white balance on my camera just went all weird. Hi, friend. Come on. There we go. That's slightly more normal. <laughs> um, okay. Next fun fact about me, other than I don't like to brush my hair in the morning, and that's why you don't usually see my face on camera, because it always looks like this. Um, <laughs> I used to be, like, really into sewing. Um, I actually have been sewing since I was about three years old. I, I used to hand sew my own rag dolls and toys and then somewhere in my teens I just got really into sewing my own clothes and my mom was like if you used a sewing machine sewing your clothes would be a lot easier and so I've been sewing for a quite a long time so over 30 years at this point I'm not great at it but I do make most of the clothes that I wear or if I haven't made them from scratch I do customize them a lot sorry I had to like pause the video because the sour watermelon literally has made my nose run. <laughs> and uh, that was quite gross. So I have done a lot of costume work for some local theater groups. I've done, I mean, nothing too crazy. Mostly just pulling costumes and styling. But that is something I do like to do. And, you know, they say you should dress for the job that you want. And then I can't be bothered to do my hair or my makeup or put on clothes for this video. So... <laughs> You know, I'm a bit of a walking contradiction, but I do, I've loved, I love to sew. Um, I had a company for a long time um, where I would sell one of a kind upcycled fashions, but it just made me feel kind of squicky to keep putting more products for sale into a universe that already has too many products because we're literally like killing the earth with them. Um, so I just figured like maybe doing more of a digital tutorial situation would be something I could continue to do what I love while also sharing my knowledge and that kind of stuff. Also, I actually haven't been sewing as much lately because one of the things that I personally like to do and wish I could, like my dream career, I wish I could be an author, like a best-selling author and author, Megan, not a author, but I literally just blowed my nose. So blew my nose. <laughs> I mean, cheese and rice, Megan. Oh my God. Um, so anyway, um, yeah, so, uh, I would love to be a, an author in another universe, but as you can tell, grammar is not my strong suit. Um, so I haven't, I've been writing more. If you're clever, if you're a clever bunny, you can find the stories that I've posted, but, uh, cause it's not like I've made it a secret, but, um, yeah, so I do. I I have fiction that I write, 
Uh, and I've been doing that a lot more during the quarantine than I have been sewing. You would think I would be uh, sewing my little fingers off, but uh, I haven't been. I've just, I've been more interested in telling stories. Um, so that's kind of what I've been doing. And uh, our next flavor. I'm so scared. So hot tamales are my favorite candy at the Dollar Tree. They sell them in those like movie sized cardboard boxes. And I will buy two or three of them when I go and I can't eat an entire box. You shouldn't. Don't do things that I do. But I, you can't, I, I eat them by the entire box full. I, I, they burn my mouth and they're cinnamon and they're delicious. And that's probably why I like fireball, fireball whiskey. Cause that's what they taste. They taste like, taste like red hots and hot tamales. So, um, I love them. I am very scared <laughs> that Peeps is about to ruin my favorite candy, but this, this is like why she got them for me. She knows that what the fuck? Or with... Okay, hold on. I gotta show you this. Can you, I hope you can see this. So, their eyeballs are not in... The, like, look at where their eyeballs... Look at this poor little dude. Look where his eyeballs are. They're like... Where, they're, they're just, like just in the weirdest place. Anyway. um, Ooh. They smell like hot tamales. Mm. <laughs> I'm so excited. This was like the whole thing is like she got me the sour watermelon and I was like, oh, get those and I'll do a video and you can watch my face. And she's like, OK. And then she sent me the pictures of the cotton candy ones and the hot tamale ones yesterday. And I was like, OK, I'll do that, too. And I'm so excited. I've been waiting like days for this. OK, so you can see he's pink on the inside. Maybe she. I don't know. Maybe they. I don't judge. And like I said, like you can tell that the chickens are more flat. So you do have like one lump of marshmallow, but if you eat around the lump, it's not bad. So here we go. Oh man. That is weird. These are really good. <laughs> No, I wanted them to be bad. I was like prepared to make a hideous face. I was like, oh no, these are going to be terrible. Oh my God. They're really good. <laughs> They're not hot, which is a little disappointing. Like I like hot tamales because they do have a spicy, like they burn a little bit when you eat them. These are just pleasant. They're not super sugary. They're not overly sugary. Um, I mean, I am a biased opinion. I put sugar in everything. <laughs> but they just taste nice and sweet and cinnamon. They're a little crunchy, so they're not overly, like, over squishing. That was a good French to eat. Mmm. We're going to want another one. So I'm going to wait until I, close, I shut off the video for that. The hot tamale ones are really good. If you try them, please tag me because I want to see what you do. Like, your, I want to know your reaction. Gosh, that's, that's everything I've got for you guys. I hope to have another craft video out for you this week. Uh, if, if I don't, it's going to be more taste testing freaky Hall uh, Halloween Easter. Easter. Megan, what is wrong with you? Um... <laughs> That's the, that's the last fun fact. It literally, it wasn't written down, but when I was planning this video in my brain, I was going, you need to mention that you curse a lot. And I was going to let it slide and I, uh, <laughs> I was going to let it slide, but unfortunately I, it ended up staying in out of necessity. Um, the bonus round candy, just so you know, is these, they're a dollar for 12 these are my absolute, I S U not <laughs> favorite Easter candy. I wait for them every year and then I buy like $6 worth of them. <laughs> They're dark chocolate marshmallow Easter eggs. Marshmallow is my favorite candy as long as it's covered in something. And so dark chocolate marshmallow Easter eggs. Makes me a happy bunny. I guess I could tell you my last fun fact. Here you go. Last, last get to know me fact. Mad Rabbit Society actually comes from 
the fact that when I was little, these front teeth are they're about the same size. They, I've grown into them, but they used to have even more of a little bit of an overbite. And compared to my skinny face, like when I was younger and I wasn't chubby, <laughs> um, I was a little skinnier. When I smiled, I would routinely get told that I looked like a rabbit. <laughs> so... <laughs> Like, I got told it a lot. <laughs> so when I was trying to come up with names for my company, there where I sold the Upcycled Creations, I was like, oh, they're a little mad. They're a little crazy. They look a little patchworky and weird. I was like, Mad Rabbit. That's cool. And I think one of the greatest days in life is when my um, friend who cosplays under the name Zap Hatter, so I guess they're a Mad Hatter sort of situation, um they came up to me in Michael's one day and it was like before we were friends and they looked at me and they went, excuse me, are you the mad rabbit? And I was just like, oh, uh, I died. <sighs> Dead. Anyway, go get yourself some Easter candy. Definitely try the hot tamale peeps. I'm really kind of creeped out that they're as good as they are. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more videos like this, comment below, like, subscribe, share with your friends, check out my craft videos. I'm sorry I'm super boring, but it just happens when I'm explaining how to do things. Or if you need your hair done, check out my hair account. Instagram at Mad Rabbit Style versus Society. Um, or if you want to follow me on Instagram, I'm Mad Rabbit Society and I will be waiting for you. <laughs> happy crafting and happy spring, finally.